Hey everyone, and welcome to part one of our electric go-kart build series. In this video, we will show you how we built our 72 volt, 52 amp hour battery that is capable of discharging up to 15,000 watts. The best part is we spent under $500 for this entire build. If you were to buy this battery online, it would cost you roughly two to $3,000. So we are really excited to show you our process for creating this ultra cheap, yet extremely powerful battery. Remember to like and subscribe for more content like this. Now let's get started. We began by purchasing these batteries shown on screen. These batteries are 36 volt, 5,000 milliamp hour batteries and were taken from old manufacturing robots. Once we received the batteries, we took off all of the housing material of the battery and we checked the voltages to make sure that both the batteries had the same rough voltage. We noticed the voltages were slightly different, which concerned us a little bit. We decided to be smart about it and hook each battery up to an individual charger and get them to a closer voltage. This would lessen the chance that something spicy would happen when we go to put them in series. Luckily, this battery already has balance wires connected to each of the individual cell groups. This would make our lives a lot easier when it came time to install our battery management system. We created a copper bus bar that would allow us to make the series connection. By attaching the two batteries back to back, we are able to create a pretty compact design with the bus bar connecting in between. By combining these batteries with a series connection, we were able to produce 72 volts. We did it! To Alibaba we go. Blue, blue to battery, black to connector. Um, that's connected. I'm gonna plug these in now. Once the balance wires are connected to the individual cells, you can connect it to the BMS. Theoretically, if I plug this in and I touch them together, it should be. It should be. There's like a light, I think, right there. Didn't get a beat. Ooh. It took us a while to figure out that you need to use an external battery to power on the BMS. After plugging in the BMS, you can plug the blue wire into battery negative and the black wire will go to the connector port. After that, the BMS will be properly set up to monitor your battery's functions. Then we can go to device list. I assume that's it. Connected. Pack voltage, 65 volts. Working. There's all of our cell batteries, all of our, that's sick. Nervous. Mm. Then the gloves back on. She's <laughs> like PTSD. Okay.
So that's probably connected. What are you standing back for? Smoking. Unplug it. Really? Yeah. From the connector. No, you do it. It'll be your fault. After we confirmed that the battery could hold a charge, we began our first bench test. First test run. That's a good sign. Yeah. Oh, it works. Oh my God. But hold on. I mean, I can try to hold it, but I just don't know how well this is. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, oh. After two weeks of work, we are stoked to see the motor turn on. But still a little terrified of the whole thing. With the battery in good working order, it was time to clean up the wiring and make the battery more presentable. For the battery case, we decided to use a combination of steel that we welded into a box and 3D printed parts. We decided to wrap the battery in a ceramic fiber blanket. This is insulation for the battery because we've seen it spark and short and it is quite aggressive. So <laughs> we wanted something in between right. the battery and our nuts. Yeah. What's this rated for? I forget. I think 2,700 or 1,000. Mm -hmm. I forget. That'll protect us. We didn't know if this would be the best option for the battery, but we'd rather be safe than sorry. The battery ended up weighing around 50 pounds. Okay. So we need to try to wrap the battery completely in this stuff.
And that's the finished product. We hope you enjoyed. Please let us know if you have any questions in the comments below or if you're building one yourself. And stay tuned for part two where we start building the go-kart frame.